I see my role as anything is as a translator of sorts. Because one thing I found becoming a reporter shortly before September 11th is I would go, I was already <clears throat> reporting on, on Islam uh, in 2000, and I would go to Afghanistan, I would go to Iraq, I would come back with stories, and my editors in my wonderful and secular publications would say, come on, doesn't this all boil down to the haves and have-nots, some aspect of political economy? What does religion really have to do with it? And yet, when I traveled along this fault line to report back honestly and accurately what people themselves told me about their experience of violent clash was that religion had everything to do with it. So somehow, we need to take more account for what people themselves who live their faith as the patterning force of their lives, both Christians and Muslims, and we're talking about the vast majority of populations at this point, how that truly factors into our worldview. Because the idea of a world developing towards secularism is over. If the world is developing in any direction, it's, it's developing toward a more spiritual reality. That's because largely what's happening inside both Islam and Christianity at this moment are these massive revivals. There is a huge, we see, we certainly, we hear it, right? We sort of, what is this about? Well, the, in both, on both cases, this is about people finding a personal relationship with the divine. And that relationship then becomes unmediated by any kind of priest or imam. This is about my relationship with my God. Where that can become dangerous is when people feel they have absolute a accurate knowledge of God's will given to them through the literal word of their text, and that text says, everybody who is not you is going to hell. They are sinners at best, they are your enemy at worst.